In the past, especially in Western art, portraits were reserved specifically for wealthy people or royalty. And with my work, I'm trying to show that African-American people have the right to be celebrated. And, and as a young person going to a museum, it's tough seeing that you are not represented at all, that this museum or this gallery never thought about you in much the same way that we were not thought about in movies and TV. And my thing is to say, no, we, we're here and um, we deserve as much praise as anyone else. I spent my childhood in, the, in Brooklyn during the 70s and 80s, during the formative time of hip hop. And since I was always into art, my thing was graffiti. I started with the tag Ace, and I was tagging all over the place in my part of Brooklyn. That became part of my identity. My interest in comics started at a young age when my mom bought me a Spider-Man comic book. And the character resonated with me because I felt as a boy that I could be Spider-Man. Like he had this mask in a way that was different from other characters. I knew I could never be Superman because he's a, a white dude. Same thing with Batman, he was a rich white dude. So my current portraits are a combination of the colors from graffiti and the intricate designs of graffiti design with the futuristic imagery of comic book characters, like characters like Silver Surfer, because of his reflective surface of his body and his story was that he's exiled to this planet in the same way that African Americans are exiled in, in, in America. The name of the upcoming show is Mask, Portraits of Times Square and Luxury Graffiti. So in a luxury graffiti case piece, it's mostly a light blue piece with tags of burgundy and, and blues and greens. It's the only piece that has actual tags on the canvas. And it was the first painting out of the series. I went from that piece to the painting of my son Kent, which has uh, more uh, the warmer colors and is pinks and burgundies and yellows and is dripping. But it's a, a full oil painting, me painting and showing spray paint and markers with, you know, with the sculpture in front of it. Red Stair is a piece that was done in Times Square. In the, the face itself, you can see reflections of Kinky Boots, the Broadway play, the Red Stairs on Broadway. So it's a play on words, there's a red stair, like she is looking at you, the painting is red, and the Red Stairs on Broadway. The next piece is American Love. I did this right at the beginning of the COVID outbreak, and I'd been working on it for a while. One of the things I didn't notice was that the word love was embedded in one of the reflections. I was like, huh, that's interesting. Like this idea of American love, and like what does that mean for African-American people? The next piece is a self-portrait. The background is not as minimal. There's um, like reds and there's like a yellow lightning look and it, it, it's supposed to symbolize the effect that COVID would have on a, on a person. And at the same time, there's a reflection of Times Square and there's a big bullseye of the American flag. And it was my way of saying, the world is looking at you, America. You're at the center of this. You're supposed to be a, a powerhouse, but how are you handling all of this? 50 years from now, 100 years from now, I would want people to see this portrait as a representation of our times right now. Luxury Graffiti Kelly has, you know, reds and, and blues, and it was one of my first attempts of really getting the drips of a spray paint, but doing it with oil paint. I want people to see themselves when they look at the pictures. Even though they're African-American subjects, I want anyone to look at this work and see part of themselves. I want them to see the sense of humanity in the pieces. They look futuristic, but me making them look futuristic was a way of stripping away the racial coding of skin color. So I think these images deal with a special part of a person in much the same way that Spider-Man was supposed to be this idealized uh, hero and that, that anyone could wear a mask and anyone can be important and anyone can be a hero. In my art, I'm trying to show that people of color 
can be heroes and they can be on the wall with a Rembrandt, with a Picasso.